Hey everybody, it's Mindy Mark here with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an update on my daughter's sister locks. So the primary changes that she's dealing with is that she's starting to get slight budding around the roots of her locks. Uh, most of the hair has not really, I don't see much evidence of budding at all, but around the roots consistently, mostly in the front, I'm seeing that there is uh, an amount of budding and that there's real matting uh, going on, which is exciting for me and also kind of like, okay, we're starting to get into the stages of like no return, so I really hope you like these because we're not coming them out. Her growth rate, uh, as far as uh, new growth coming out of the scalp, has made it so that trying to be on a retightening cycle of every six to eight weeks is really not appropriate for her. Her hair uh, is growing much faster than that, and I think the first time around I did go back in around six weeks and there was so much uh, new growth that I could still find the parts, but um, it just kind of like interrupted the uh, form of the interlock. Like there was some loops that were out They had to do quite a few repairs to try to get the, the interlock um, matrix tight again just because there was just kind of so much growth that hadn't been incorporated back into the lock so right now we're going to be going on a four every four weeks uh four week cycle for her and i'm hoping that once her locks settle that we'll be able to stretch that out so for now i'm going to stick with four weeks and then just keep an eye on it and see if i can push it out to five then six and seven as her locks start to mature she has very slight thickening of her locks they're certainly thicker than when we first uh, establish them, but based on the rate at which her locks are starting to get a little bit more thick and a little bit more wide, I'm assuming that she's gonna be at a place of maturity in her locks in between the 18 to 24 um, months period. Um, I, think it's, I think it is gonna take that long for the length of her hair to fully lock and mature, but we'll just keep taking care of it in, a in, the, in the meantime and just keep documenting her progress. Our daily grooming routine is actually really um, minimal. We don't really do anything with her hair. Um, we do cover her hair nightly. Uh, she does have a satin cap, and I do braid her hair before putting it in the satin cap. And then in the mornings, I will review, I will kind of groom her hair, which just means I go through her locks and see if I see any lint, and I just pick them, pick them out. And I do that every day, and it doesn't take me a lot of time. I usually do it while she's having breakfast, just stand behind her while she's eating, and I'll just go through the locks. And, and there's not much lint at all because her hair is covered, but every now and then I will find something, and I just make sure to pull that out before it starts getting um, pulled into the lock and becomes a part of the interlock, and then it kind of becomes hard to do it. Um, another thing is, is I did mention in our last video that she had some unraveling at the ends. I did end up going back through and braiding up her ends, the braids are not very obvious because her curl pattern still shows through the braids, but um, I'm glad that I did do that just because um, I want to make sure that she doesn't have any sort of expanding at the ends or in the middle of a lock because some of the locks came unraveled all the way to like halfway up and so I didn't want those parts like bulging and getting huge. Also I had someone on Instagram ask me what I do for moisturizing Cruz's hair um, and really I, I don't do a ton. Um, her hair is not dry and I think that that just has to do with the properties of her hair. She just has a hair type that isn't really prone to dryness. I think it's also because of the um, environment that we live in. Being in Washington State, there is a lot of moisture in the air just because there is a lot of uh, raining. So there's just, you're, if you go outside, your hair is able to pull moisture in. So she's not dealing with really any dryness. So I don't do anything to moisturize her hair. I don't spritz it with water. I certainly don't put any like lotions or anything um, like that on her hair, but it's not dry. And um, interestingly, I'm also not having to wash her hair very frequently. I was thinking, um, at least like uh, once a month, but even at the end of the month, she has no buildup on her scalp, no odor in her hair. It's just, there's no evidence of anything in her hair. I, I'm probably still going to, at the very least, wash her hair every six weeks just because, but interestingly, she just doesn't have much buildup or odor or anything in her hair, which I'm not really sure how to explain that because I myself don't really understand it, but her washes are not that frequent either. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions about what you've seen or if you have any comments about um, what this is like for you, if you have a similar hair type and what it's like to watch them transition into sister locks, leave those comments in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you guys next time.